guys welcome back to the channel let's get right into this video the Cincinnati Bengals season preview this one is going to be tough to talk about because every year I watch a lot of football obviously I watch as a diehard Cowboys fan I watch all, all, all of the Cowboys games live you know um and I watch pretty much, I, I try to watch every single football game throughout the year. Every single one. The full length. So that's why when I say I, I know what I'm talking about for about a specific team or a specific division or a specific player or a specific scheme or for a specific coach. I think I have the right because I've watched every single game. This year, that wasn't the case. I would say I watched about half the football games that I did, like, from 2015 to 2018. 2019 was a bit of a different year. Number one, I was a lot busy with other things. Just, let's just say that. I was busy with a lot of different things. Number two, there were so many boring teams. The Jacksonville Jaguars, the boring to watch. So I said, I ain't watching this team. The Cincinnati Bengals are boring to watch. This is why I'm not talking about this video. And the beginning of the season, uh, the Chargers were boring to watch. So it was just like, oh man, I'm, I'm going to watch the good teams or whatever. And obviously, my, I'm a diehard Cowboys fan, so I'm going to watch the Cowboys game three or four times a week. Like, they play on Sunday. All right, watch the game Sunday. Look at the highlights two or three times after the game. Monday, I'll watch it. Wednesday, I'll watch it. Friday, and then Saturday, Saturday to where... I need to know what we need to fix for that Sunday game. So for the Bengals, it is so hard to talk about them because I didn't watch their games last year. Um, they were injured a lot. Obviously, A.J. Green was out. Tyler Eifert was out. Geno Atkins was out a lot. And they had a lot of controversy around them, you know, benching Andy Dalton on his birthday. And then and, – and the team has so much talent, Okay. That with majority of their roster being injured and and young, the Bengals are a tough team to talk about. Obviously, we could talk about their core going forward. Joe Burrow, AJ Green, Tyler Boyd. We could talk about those guys. You know, the John Rosses, the T. Higgins, you know, the Joe Mixons, the Gene Ivy Bernards. The offense is going to be pretty interesting. You know, they're going to have Jonah Williams back on that left tackle. Their old line it can, can get see a little bit of a difference. But how will this team play? So, they're the worst team in the AFC North. They're not the worst team in the AFC. That'll be the Jackson Jaguars for the 2020 season. I find it hard to rank them like okay how healthy how, how healthy are they going to be is aj green going to come back 100 percent is you know atkins going to come back 100 percent is carlos dunlap going to be coming back 100 percent there's a lot of questions so for that reason they need to be asked but but yeah those health questions they they need to be brought up obviously because it's affected them the past couple years um when they when the Bengals are in a situation where they're ready to win, Andy Dalton goes down late in the season and misses the playoffs. So those kind of things have always haunted or taunted the Cincinnati Bengals and the Marvin Lewis and Andy Dalton era. So starting off with the Joe Burrow era, is this defense going to be healthy? The offense, it'll be top 15. I don't want to go that extra step and say that the Bengals offense with an unexperienced receiving core together, and then and obviously a rookie quarterback, and obviously a questionable O line. But I will say though, they'll probably be top fifteen, and people are gonna say, "Well, how? How? What do you mean that that receiving core is an experience together?" John Ross was a rookie in twenty seventeen. Taylor Boyd was a pick in twenty sixteen, and AJ Green has been banged up since those guys have been on the team, and he missed an entire year. Then T. Higgins is a rookie. So when you look at that receiving room, 
as a group, that is inexperience. How are they going to mesh together? Because John Ross has been banged up. He hasn't played a full season. So that's another case. This receiving core has been separated despite being in the same room. So then, let's say everyone's healthy. John Ross is healthy. Tyler Boyd's healthy. AJ Green's healthy. T Higgins comes in healthy. Okay. Now in the receiving room, we haven't played together. We haven't meshed together. So we got to figure that out. Now we got to mesh that with a second year head coach, Zach Taylor. Okay. Now we got to mesh that with a rookie quarterback. Now we got to mesh that with an eh, offensive line. Now we got to mesh that. Are we going to have Joe Mixon or not? Because with his contract. So you have, there's a lot of things that are going through this. Um, and I didn't say passing offense will be top 15. I think the offense altogether, the pass will be bottom 20. But the rush will be out there because they're going to feed Joe Mixon and they're going to feed Giannavi Bernard. They're going to feed that team. And then you look at the defense. That defense was bad. Run defense was bad last year. The pass defense was bad. The defense altogether was bad. So, so then you bring that question, what will they bring? Um, they're, they're, they have a good front seven. Just injuries have been their kryptonite. And then they just can't avoid it. And losing a lot of their guys on the defensive side of the ball um, in free agency is another thing that is going to be brought up in the um, equation and so forth. So this Bengals team is not going to be good record-wise next year. Um, facing the Steelers twice a year, facing the Ravens twice a year, facing the Browns, which I feel like they can get a win or two, win one or them both this year. So I think they'll probably be four and twelve, five and eleven, probably more or close to thir- three and thirteen. I don't think they'll go close to a winning record. Um, like I said in the Browns and Ravens season preview, I think the Steelers are in the division. So it, it the Bengals have a lot of questions, um, not only for this year but their future. You know they. They franchise tag AJ Green, I'm pretty sure. So if they do that, like, well, is he gonna get the long term extension? Will he get traded at the deadline this year? Will he walk next year? Not like physically walk, but walk into free agency. I I I think those questions need to be asked. So that is gonna be today's season preview. Next will be the Steelers. Then we're gonna do who will win the NFC North or AFC North, and then we'll do AFC North record predictions. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.